Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Monday, April 15th. Today on Forbes, like Wikipedia and ChatGPT had a kid, inside the buzzy AI startup coming for Google's lunch. In August 2022, Aravind Srinivas and Dinas Yaratz waited outside Meta AI chief Jan Lacan's office in Lower Manhattan for five long hours, skipping lunch for the chance to give the NYU professor a demo of their AI program. Once they showed him how their model could search through platforms like LinkedIn, GitHub, and Twitter, and surface content that Google could not, such as the accounts that most frequently replied to Lacan's tweets, he was impressed enough with the program's accuracy to invest. He was one of several tech VIPs, including Google chief scientist Jeff Dean, former GitHub CEO Nat Friedman, OpenAI co-founder Andre Karpathy, and prominent angel investor Elad Gill, who got similar personalized demos and collectively invested $3.1 million in a September 2022 seed round. Trinivas told Forbes, quote, it was very relatable for them to go and search about their own Twitter. The money gave Srinivas, Yaratz, and fellow co-founders Andrew Konwinski and Johnny Ho the runway to find an inventive way to bring AI to search. After trying out several ideas, they landed on what is now Perplexity, an AI-based conversational search engine used by about 15 million people to source and summarize information on any topic on the internet, from the best date night restaurants to white elephant gift exchange ideas to the cheapest sneakers for sale online. Featured in Forbes' 2024 AI50 list, which was just released last week, Perplexity provides succinct answers in four to five sentences along with citations and links to sources by routing millions of questions to a medley of large language models, including Anthropic's Claude, OpenAI's GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, and open source models like Meta's Llama and Mistral's Mixtral. Srinivas, who is 29 years old and who serves as Perplexity's CEO, said, quote, It's almost like Wikipedia and ChatGPT had a kid. In less than two years, the buzzy AI startup has raised $102 million in venture capital from some of the most notable names in tech, including Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, former YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, Gmail inventor Paul Buhait, Shopify CEO Toby Luca, and former Microsoft president Bob Muglia. The roster of prominent backers has helped the startup, now valued at $1 billion, gain credibility and momentum while attracting top talent, more investors, and more importantly, millions of users, among them billionaires like NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, who uses Perplexity every day, and Dell Technologies CEO Michael Dell. Srinivas told Forbes, quote, It creates snowball effects for you. People take you more seriously. Since launching in December 2022, Perplexity's usage has been on a steep upward climb. Some 100,000 users pay a $20 monthly subscription fee to access advanced features on the platform, such as searching their own uploaded files and generating images and text from scratch. Perplexity users can also create their own so-called AI profile by adding information like their occupation, location, likes and dislikes to get personalized answers and suggestions. It also lets people restrict their searches to specific databases, including academic journals, YouTube, and Reddit. The startup, which has about $20 million in annual recurring revenue, is considering adding native ads into the product by letting brands influence some of its related questions, suggestions. But it still faces the trillion-dollar behemoth that is Google, which remains the first place billions of people go looking for information. There's still a lot of questions that Google answers better than AI search engines like Perplexity, like suggesting what shows or movies to watch or accurately answering questions about a recent football game. Plus, the tech giant has a two-decade head start on indexing and scraping the web. Srinivas said, quote, you can never succeed at recreating the whole index like Google. It's too late. It's sort of like finding your way in a maze where you're starting at a huge disadvantage. But Srinivas is optimistic because he doesn't see perplexity as competing directly with Google. Instead, he hopes that more and more people will turn to perplexity to find nugget-sized information to make quick decisions rather than being served with 10 rows of blue links. Perplexity especially shines for retrieving information that's buried deep within different websites, like instructions on tasks like how to renew a passport or summarizing long passages of text like news articles. 
Shriniva said, quote, Our success doesn't rely on Google's failure at all. People can use Google and perplexity at the same time. For full coverage, you can watch our video interview with Aravind Srinivas and check out Rashi Srivastava's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.